Whoa, 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 what's up guys, it's Richie Rich back yet again and in this vid I'm going to be talking about the reasons I moved from United Kingdom all the way to Toronto, Canada. Be sure to check this out. It has been a long, long, and I do mean long, you know, this can be like a catchphrase, but like, you know, focus, focus, rich. But yeah, um, it has been a while since I've done a video like this, you know, and this vid just came up like, you know, legit, just, you know, out of my cranium, you know, and it was, um, it was just really um, just coming to terms, you know, of like, actually, you know, live and living in color at this precise moment, I can actually say I'm officially in Toronto, Canada, you know, and as I'm going to tell you the reasons like why I did it, I should probably start off with saying like how it actually, you know, how it actually came to fruition. To be honest, it's been like a childhood like dream to like, like a go and like I believe it was just my destiny to get out of the UK and you know start like a new chapter a new challenge a new life somewhere abroad you know and it wasn't until like um, I was always like passing through the states um, USA when I was a rich boy you know kid to my teens you know to early adulthood in my early 20s you know I used to visit the states you know and the States was always cool, but I never ever envisioned myself living there, working there, or like settling there, like completely starting a family. I never ever thought, like even, because like, with all these kind of um, jumps you're trying to do, you need this kind of like instinct to be like, believe like, okay, if I'm going to make this move by myself, can I actually do it, you know? But it wasn't until approximately five years ago, I came to visit Canada for the first time came to Toronto and from when I came there I remember just stepping off you know coming off the Toronto versus airport and just the just that like you know soaked of that just positive and good vibes when I came here I was like this is the place for me you know and it was just from there it took at least from so from the last time I came was 2015 and I got here just before, um, just around Christmas time, which was last year, from a uh, Sierra Leone, like a uh, East London kid. You know, to do that is is very difficult because for some people they've never ever made that move, especially on their lonesome. You know, so it was just it was just really like um, you know painful. It, it's like um, it was more kind of like psychological. You know, what I mean because. I do believe with anyone achieving a goal, you know, because I'm someone in general, even just me being here, me with him, my YouTube channel, me even just having this show, I'm a guy who defies the odds, you know, I was written off so, so many times in just in, just in a where, where, just like the idea of like growing up and becoming a man, you know, I was the last one, you know, the one who was working the hardest, but getting treated the least, you know, this is true talk, true talk, you know, but I always made sure I persevered, you know what I mean? I've always applied a just do it attitude to anything I'm doing, you know. I'm gonna kind of, so we're gonna do like five, we're gonna do Richie Rich's top five, you know. This is how I did it. So number one, hustle. I cannot stress this for any, uh, well, with now with, you know, social media, all these options like put on the table, I've said, and I've told people close to me, I've said this complete idiocy to be like, okay, you know, I've got this job, you know, I'm there from Monday to Friday, the typical nine to five, and I'm only going to get income from this place. And this is going to basically, in my, you know, for some people, and it's do we want, you know, they'll think like they're financially secured, you know, 
how I did it was um, I was working. Um, I'm a, I'm a fitness uh, trainer. That's like my background. That's why I, I, even the first time I went to Canada 2015. That's what I've been doing. That's what I went uh, to get my qualification qualifications. And in just general, you know, I'm someone who you know loves fitness. You know, I came back to fitness, but you know, I just has a passion for sports health and all of that. You know, so. I, you know, when I'm working in like a gym, you know, any kind of fitness related, it's, it's never really worked to me. You know, I can just come in and just do it, you know, even just before doing this video, you know, I was teaching a class uh, full of girls doing a boot camp, you know, and it never ever feels like work. But the point is with the hustle thing is like when you're hustling, sometimes you have to do stuff again um, that you may not want to do, you know, and this comes all the way into like getting out of your comfort zone. You know, um, there was positions, um, I'm not going to go into detail to too many of the jobs, but like, there was like, I call them gigs, you know, because I wasn't really there for them long, but I was doing positions that probably not, and, and it's, it's true of fact, like someone who has like a, uh, you know, is a personal trainer, is a gym instructor, would never even go down that lane, you know, like I was, I was working just a varieties, you know, from like hotels to, um, you know, uh, bars, you know, to nightclubs. Uh, there's a longer list that, you know, I can't even remember at this moment, but it was just anything and everything, you know. So you have to be relentless, you know what I mean? Like, um, don't just say like, okay, I've just got this one job. Um, you know, I'm good because, you know, People gotta understand for someone, you know, who, you know, because of the rich man who has had a lot more jobs than other people, you know, anyone is um anyone is expendable, you know, and someone the manager doesn't want you, you know, you can be all friends, it could all be all buddy, but when the time comes to where they don't need you, they can fire you. And it's up to you if you wanna be that person who's gonna wait to get fired. Or you could be someone who already has a second, uh, second place, you know, or a third place, you know, because this, this is stuff that happened to me. I remember <laughs> one of the positions I did go, you know, terminated, but I already had other stuff on the side. I had YouTube. I was doing modeling. I was making T-shirts. I was doing uh, personal training sessions. I, I was, you know, uh, making, you know, sketching ideas, doing graphic design, like you name it. I was always putting my hands in different, different, like, um, you know, glasses. So, and that's the key, with the key, you know, with, um, with doing this, you know, like, um, because uh, when I got here, you know, no one paid for my ticket, uh, no one paid for my visa, I was still, you know, paying off some, like, last, um, you know, bills, or I had to strictly do this all by myself. You know, check for my ticket, check for where I was going to stay and then obviously come and look for jobs as well. So to do that all by yourself can be very, very taxing, you know, but it was only because I'd set myself up to get finances from different places. You know, most people were always waiting for the end of the month. I was getting stuff on Friday, next Friday, next Friday, next Friday, because I set myself up there from years and years of pushing out different kinds of uh, you know, media or just like, just hustling, you know, so that's the one of the main things you gotta have the hustle mindset. Number two, you know, and as I said, this is just not for, uh, you know, someone who's looking to, you know, get to Canada as well, just like anyone else trying to, you know, move across and like start, you know, their next chapter in their life. Number two is sacrifice. This is a, <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is a very big one. Um... I'd say for uh, for guys in general, and especially in this kind of social media era, um, the idea like to be single and you know not have like a woman after woman after woman, you know the numbers game, is usually now it gets frowned upon. You know what I mean? If you're not that guy doing that, he'll be like they'll start saying stuff to you like, oh, are you straight or you know what's wrong with you? You know what I mean? It's just ways to kind of discourage you and that, but. The, the, the thing is, doing this kind of, you know, this kind of way of what like people like me do, if you want to say it, entrepreneurship, you know, trying to make something and you're trying to build it on your own, you know, do down just to be 
um, not single. You know what I mean? Because that's what that's what, that's why I felt a lot that was in that atmosphere when I was in the UK. I was meeting guys just around my age and just a bit older. They were just trying to not be single, so they would just grab any girl who you know who they kind of thought was the peng or you know cool. Just the idea of like they didn't want to be alone, but. You can't have both of them, you know. You know, what I mean, you have to. It's, it's a very, very taxing, and uh, at times it can be stressful, you know. When you're the captain of the ship, you're swapping the decks, you know. You're doing the, you know, you're steering the ship, you're doing the whole thing, you know. So that's that's another key, you know. Is um, you know, sacrifice, and sometimes sacrifice is not even just of, uh, you know, your, you know, your partner and that. Sometimes it's family, you know, like, um, with that, like, um, you know, there was times, you know, I miss, like, weddings, you know, I miss, like, birthday parties, engagement parties. There's, you're gonna have to, you know, you're gonna have to put, like, the regular stuff on the side if you want to kind of achieve the stuff that are great, you know, and some people don't get on this and they don't catch on it quick. And they end up getting to that age where they're not able to do it, you know. So I'd say third one definitely is money coming from Richie Rich as well, you know. And this really ties on to the uh, first one I said about hustling, you know. Um, if, um, with like the money side, is it is more of a simple of having like um, okay. So I'm gonna be real. Like when I came here, I took um, I had just over a grand. Um, when I first came, when I first arrived in Toronto, um, I actually passed through um, Portugal. Spent a nice night there, but like <laughs> Portugal, then I came shows to uh, Toronto, Canada. I had just over a grand, you know, because I had just similar like this. I had people. Um, I watch YouTube videos, and you know, they're telling me like, oh, this is how much you need. This is how much you need. So in my in my conception, it was always like, okay, if I got a grand, that should be at least good until I get a job into a good job you know so once I came here you know and this whole thing of like you know converting into Canadian dollars and that you know I was using pounds and always using kind of like a transfer card to like do all my stuff there you know now time's gone blind and I actually sold and I actually have a job it was really important um, to have that kind of chunk of cash before I came, uh, cash before say that say before and once I got here because but, but with that savings that I put in you know I that I had to hold you know all the way from like doing off the job a job a job you know um, it was really really beneficial when I got here you know because I was able to kind of for the first like especially around the Christmas time I could just relax for a bit like saying like I did all that hard work all that struggle to like get out of London and at least for now I can chill out until everything resumes again back in January like in 2020 you know so definitely third one is um you know if you want to say money savings that would be definitely a um, best best uh, thing would be to come with like a chunk of change grand preferably a grand uh, fourth one uh, yeah which is uh, um, yeah, another one I'm just thinking about is economizing. Um, you know, um, and it's, yeah, it's funny. Like when I'm saying economize, I know a few people that just come into my mind now who, if they had made this trip and had to spend like the money I've been doing, or like you know having to like uh, sacrifice on like clothes shopping or you know getting like uh, materialistic items, you know, it would it really would have been way more harder. For them to be in positions like this but as i mean in economizing i'm saying like to get stuff you you need especially for the moment you know i'm going to be real so i've been in canada this is i'm just approaching my second month and you know i've done like shopping that's needed to do like um as i'm in the fitness you know i've got my gear you know i've got my like uh, sneakers i got sweatpants you know i've got the essentials because i know like i came here to work you know, but what I didn't do was go on the other side and go into like Hugo Boss or not that I buy stuff from anywhere, but I didn't go there and get stuff that like, you know, jackets or blazers. I didn't do that because it's not what's needed from now. You know, main thing when you're coming abroad is you need to, especially when you're working, you need to get your job, you need to get your own place and then lay down the line, preferably get your own kind of vehicle because uh, definitely, you know, over here, it's not like the same like, as London, you know, when you, you know, your transport is like everywhere, you know, and it's like the roads are so short, you won't, 
really spend too much in a, like a vehicle, like a car, you know. So, you know, I mean, you need to really like um, economize and also kind of prioritize like what is the main thing, you know. And for me, since I've come here, it's definitely been like, uh, you know, food, of course, um, you know, why I obviously need for the gym because I'm there from you know, uh, weekdays, you know, like my, definitely my like uh, clothing that went for the gym, you know, and like transport, you know, so to spend stuff that is mainly for the time being, you know, what what do I need now, you know, I came from work, you know, I, I'll be open the fridge and it be, be some like, you know, food I know I can eat and it won't like, you know, it's not gonna come back out, you know, I've got fluids, you know all of that that needs to be the main 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 priority number five which is a very and this is quite a simple one is support you know um i was like fortunate that um I, because i came in 2015 i knew some of the people and like you know family members who um, knew me you know once like once i did and it's like i was always talking to them you know saying like you know i'm just waiting to make this move you know it's gonna happen sooner or later but when it comes you know will you be you know Michael Jackson will you be there you know what I mean so it's very it's very very um you know big fundamental because like um, if you're coming there by yourself especially to a foreign land and you're gonna be there for a long stay you know you're gonna it happened to me I made so many errors especially coming into downtown you know going past the station sometimes spending way too money on like you know different transportations you know and if you don't have someone who's like a native and kind of knows what they're doing you know, you're gonna still keep on making those mistakes. You will like learn it later, but it's like you can kind of fast track. You know, if you've got someone who's been there for years, and you can say like, okay, all right, you know, I need to go like uh, to Richmond, you know, which is not far from downtown. You know, go and interview. You know, like what's the easiest way to get there? You know, if you're speaking to someone with native, and since I've come here. You know, honestly, I'm not just being biased. Canadian people are like the most friendliest people you know I've ever met. You know, it's got to be something in the food. You know, I don't know, but like, um, you know, if, if you can get like these kind of supports, like you know, you speak, you know, this person like uh, gives you, you know, tips on how to get to your destination. You know, you build that rapport. You know, don't feel it's a stretch to be like, you know what, I'm new here. Do you want to like, you know, do you mind if we exchange numbers or you know, get their Instagram? You know what I mean? That's was like I remember like when I was in that time in Niagara Falls, you know, it was a taxi driver who gave me kind of tips, you know, about like Toronto, you know, just the surrounding areas, you know, if you gotta leave and that, you know, and I remember like once I got the taxi, you know, took his number, just stayed in contact with him, you know, because you're just gonna learn more knowledge, you know, and just like pick up stuff rather than just be, you know, oh I'm here, you know, even if you've got the money, I'm here, I'm just gonna keep to myself, you know, you know gonna learn nothing you know and that's my top five tips um that i used to venture from united kingdom over to where i am in toronto canada um with like the uh, the channel and kind of what i'm doing i actually kind of want to take a break off the reviews i've been currently doing because you know i ain't gonna lie you know from just moving from one side of the world to another side of the world to really like as I was doing them DVD re DVD reviews from uh, the retrospective ones back in the day it was a bit difficult like um, it was funny I was ordering from the USA to send it all the way to United Kingdom just to get like the DVDs you know ripping them putting some scenes out and watching them so I could then make my own take on it so to kind of do that for the time being would be very difficult but I actually want to get into more kind of doing these vids you know to kind of show people a bit more about me you know what i mean because i felt like uh there was times in like earlier days i was trying to kind of be too mysterious you know what i mean but it's like i want to be more open as like you know people are starting to know about the richest man on earth you know but yes um stay tuned for more upcoming vids you know we're going to be working on at least two uh two new vids like every uh week you know so if you like what you saw please you know thumb up the video comment and share it because we need to get more members on this team of mine and you all know the story you know how it goes it is peace to fingers